Welcome back, everyone. We're going to make a scrumptious pecan pie. It's a southern favorite, and get ready for the holidays. But before we begin, I would like to say a quick prayer. Holy Father, I thank you for this new day. I do with a song in my heart. I thank you, Father God. Your name is majestic in all the earth, and I ask for your blessings upon me and all who hear this. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody, we're at Walmart, and we're going to get some stuff to make the pecan pie and the peach pie. So y'all, we're at Walmart and we're going into the Walmart grocery so we can make uh, a pecan pie and a peach pie. It's our favorite store, Walmart. Okay. Right, we're at Walmart and wonderful stuff. Oh, we're going to get us some beautiful flowers. Look at those. Oh, look at these. These are beautiful. Oh, look at these cute little sweet You guys, these flowers are so beautiful. I'm going to go shopping and get all the things that I need to make the pies. Then I'm going to come back here and y'all, I think I'm going to get me some sunflowers and lilies. So we're going to go and pick up the rest of our stuff that we need. Um, I have been making peach pies and one of my friends requested that I make the cobbler for her family. She had a piece of the uh, peach cobbler, well, some of it, and y'all, she fell in love with it. So if you want to see how I made that peach cobbler, just check out that video, um, the peach pie cobbler. And I'm getting some peaches to make that. Also, I am making a pecan pie today, and I am actually um, going to make several next weekend so i am buying pecans more pecans and um all the ingredients that i need and y'all just hang out with me and go shopping because i have a lot of ingredients i'm just getting some things that i need And that will be all the ingredients that we need to make our pie. Cornstarch. So let's see if we can find cornstarch. We'll check in the seasoning section to see if we can find corn starch. You guys, I like when the holidays come up where they put all the baking stuff in one of the center aisles. Uh, I have dark Cairo corn syrup at home. I'm thinking about trying the light corn syrup, but no, I think I'm going to stick with the dark. But you guys, this cinnamon, I bought this cinnamon last week. And I'm thinking about getting another one. It smells so good. Watson uh, cinnamon, the ground cinnamon. It smells so good. And I am actually going to be uh, using this uh, cinnamon, a teaspoon of cinnamon in our uh, pecan pie. 
So you guys, we're going to finish getting all the things we need, and then we're going to head home, and we're going to get started on this delicious pecan pie. It's a Southern favorite, and it's oh, so delicious. I am also going to put a link uh, to the video where you can make the best pie crust. All you need is just one pie crust recipe, and I have it. You guys, I'm going to link that video in the description below also so you can... Uh, Check that video on out on how I made the pie crust. So we're going to finish the shopping. Then we're going to head home. We're going to make this pie. You can use the Cairo syrup. So yeah. Reach up there and get the Cairo syrup, the medium bottle. Yeah, put that in our basket. Things we have in our basket. Peaches. All right, sweetie, come on. Let's get grab some eggs. We're gonna grab some eggs. We're gonna grab some eggs. So we're going to check out and we'll see y'all back at the house. All right, everyone, we have made it home. Now it's time to make this pecan pie. You guys, we're going to use two cups of chopped pecans. We're also using one cup of brown sugar. That's what you see in the bowl, the brown sugar. We're going to use one tablespoon of cornstarch. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix one tablespoon of cornstarch into one fourth cup of milk. And we're going to mix this together to make a slurry so the pie will gel will be a have like a, a little bit thickening to it and it won't be runny y'all this is my family favorite favorite pecan pie recipe every thanksgiving i make this pie and y'all it's gone the same day it's just that good so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mix everything in one bowl. Y'all finna see how quick and easy it is. I'm pouring in the one cup of uh, dark Cairo syrup. You can use light corn syrup. It don't matter the color. And y'all, look at that. Just everything in one bowl. And now we're also going to mix uh, six tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. You don't want to add more salt because we're going to add one teaspoon of salt to the mix. So use unsalted butter. And we're using the uh, one teaspoon of salt. We're going to add that. Salt help balance out the sugars and, you know, make everything blend together. So, yeah. And we're going to use one tablespoon of vanilla extract gonna put that in everything in one bowl y'all this is a quick easy pie and if you haven't seen the pie crust video i'm gonna link a description i'm gonna link the link in the description below so y'all can check that out now we're putting in our three eggs gonna add that to the mix and the last thing we're gonna add is the uh slurry mix that we mix the milk and the cornstarch so make sure that's mixed up real, real well. And then we're going to put that in and we're going to blend everything together. So we're going to get it all blended. Let it blend real, real well. And then we're going to add our pecans. We're going to put some in now. And we're going to save a little bit. And then on the second blend, we're going to put the rest in. So yeah, go ahead and add your pecans. 
Y'all, this is such a good pie. Say we save some. Just make sure those get good and blended up real, real good. Everything coated in the gel. Now I'm adding the rest. You guys, this is the last piece to go on the pie. I have some cookie cutters. I am cutting out, uh, well, dough cutters. I am cutting out an acorn. I don't have enough for uh, the big squirrel, so I'll just try to do two acorns um, to put on my pecan pie. You guys, this is such an easy pie to make. I hope y'all made it with me because you guys will love it. And a good pie start with a good pie crust. So check out that link uh, below to the pie crust video and uh, you'll use it. You'll use it because that'll be the last pie crust you will ever need. You can do savory dishes with it, sweet uh, dishes, you know, desserts or pot pies or any kind of dish. You can even make quiche with that crust, y'all. It is just that good. Okay, you guys, we're going to pour the uh, mixture inside the uh, pie shells. We're going to bake it at 365 degrees for 45 minutes.
guys, here is a wonderful hot pecan pie. 